again. The sun behind us on the ride home, so it'll make it a little nicer. Navigate home. Now turn left onto Ralph Stevens Road. Uh, he's going to want me to get back on that road over and over again. And it's like, nope. In 500 feet, I don't turn go left onto GB Alford Highway. Now make a U-turn to stay on Ralph Stevens Road. I refuse. In 500 feet, turn right onto Piney Grove Wilden Road. At some point, he's going to give up. Just let me go where I want to go. This is what I want to do with the next. Now turn right onto Piney Grove Wilbin Road. Still taking me back to the. In 500 feet, turn right onto Piney Grove Wilden Road. Now turn right onto Piney Grove Wilden Road. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Bayham Drive. I'm not happy with the way I'm going. Now turn right onto Bayham Drive. Oh yeah. 
Full stop. Then he goes. Not bad. Just thinking about it. Just thinking about it. <laughs> ah, nice. There's obviously been some new construction done here, so I think he's confused about where the road goes. He now thinks it's 25. To stay on Castle Road. It's not 25. Let me give it an acceleration. Car behind me.
basically we're going back to the 55. see from this display that he's seeing a lot more cars than he did previously and they're a lot more accurate he's even got that truck that's in the parking lot to the left and it's green light and he's going not very good I'm giving a little acceleration because that's just silly He knows he needs to turn soon, so he doesn't want to go up to full speed. And a long line of cars making that left up there, so we'll see how he handles that. In 500 feet, turn left onto GB Alfred Highway. See, if I got stuck there, I didn't want to block that guy making a left. Okay, we're in the left only lane. I don't know if he sees the signal or not. Now turn left onto GB Alfred Highway. It's a red light. And he stops. Okay. Probably pissed the guy off behind me because we probably could have made that yellow. And it is annoying that he leaves the signal on the entire time we sit at these lights, but you know, I can't fault him for it. Now this is two lanes making a left, so he's had trouble with this before because he always wanted to kind of make a left turn into the right lane for some reason. But he's got to stay in the left. He could have chosen that other lane to make a left on, but it was real hard to see any markings on the ground. bird's eye view. Like I say, this is rush hour, so they want the 55 to have the priority here. So it's like a two minute light for us on the side. truck I mean the how he's showing the representations you know the cartoons of the cars and trucks has gotten a lot better over the years okay that's a green light I accelerated because I wasn't sure he was going to but now we're going he should get up to 63 he slowed down because he sees a hill so I'm punching it Side. He does want to get on the 540, which means we do want to get over in the next lane. But we'll see. This charger's not driving very well in front of us. We might have to pass him. Well, now he's slowing down. All right, I'm going to get in the right lane. There's no reason for him to slow down there, but that's fine. I want it to be in this lane anyway. And I'm hitting the brake and disconnecting because he probably would have gone through that yellow light and it wouldn't have been a problem, but it wasn't something I wanted to handle. So I turned back on at a stop. It used to be that wouldn't, I wouldn't do anything because he's not paying attention to the lights. But now he is, and there he goes. Good. And that was a fine acceleration. See, if he's got a good view in front of him, he'll accelerate up to the speed I want him to be pretty quickly. Now he sees the cars in front, starts slowing down a little bit. Not too much ahead of time. He 
it's like he gives you a, a preparatory, you know, slow down just so that you look up to see what he's slowing down for. I don't know. I don't, it's probably not that psychological. So again, the turn on to the 540 is going to be a clover leaf. So we'll see how well he does it. He usually slows down very much when he has to do a 270 degree turn. That might be a police car, but it was just somebody's bad brakes. Not sure what that slowing's for. You never know when he's doing these slows whether it shows brake lights behind me. If you actually, if he uses the brakes, it definitely would turn them on. But if you release the accelerator and do the, you know, the other kind of braking, they'll sometimes turn the lights on for that too, if it's, you know, if you can feel like a real good deceleration. Once we get up here, it's 78 miles an hour. You can see the nuclear power plant in the distance. See which lane he picks. It's kind of, since they're repainting the lines all the time here, it's kind of a hit or miss whether he's going to be able to see the lane he wants to go into to take us into the fastest lane. Yeah. 
ramps and all that. This guy wanted to get over, but my car didn't want to let him in. Let's see. Let's see if I hit this. I think it does more of the lane changing for the speed stuff. So that's probably what I needed to do before to make it decide to pass me. And he might pass this guy now. Because we're four under, you know, my preferred speed. Oh, he asked me to confirm lane change. Okay, so that's the other thing it, it does. I never really did it much. So I hit the signal to confirm it, but he didn't do it. All right, so... I don't know if I have to hit it all the way down to confirm. Probably ask me again here. Let me read it better. And he's got my auto high beams on, which is why I don't like using this at night. Because I just really don't like flashing my high beams in people's eyes. Yeah, he gave up. <laughs> going to be accelerating as well and now you're in like a chase you know and who's going to let who in i'm not that kind of driver if i can slow down and let this guy in i'm going to do it ahead of time which lets him speed up to a good speed but this is interesting i'm going to have to make a left to get onto the uh the highway and then immediately get into a right and do another 270 here so there he did that one okay giving it a little acceleration like so now he's got to do the same thing. He's got to get off here, watch out for people getting on the freeway, and make this right turn, which is pretty sharp. And here he goes. Now right. Got into it. And here's a pretty sharp turn. So I'm not going to touch it. There's nobody behind me. He's doing okay. Getting pretty close to the left side. There we go. I'm going to make a left turn up here. Keep left at the fork. So he stays in the left lane. That's good. All right. I'm going, to, I'm going to give that a B plus. Now I've got a green light. Cars are moving. Now turn left onto Kelly Road. And that was not bad. Very good. Now we're going to come up to 
through this four-way stop again, which, like I say, this, this takes human psychology. You've got to look and see what the other people are doing to understand. Turn left onto green level are they counting turn. correctly? Do they come to a complete stop? Does it look like they're impatient? You can tell a lot from people just by whether they're jerking around or you know whether they've got their signals on now or turn don't. Left onto green level I'm not turn sure turn. you can see which of these guys have their signal on now. He thinks this is an intersection. It used to be. It's not anymore. In 500 feet, turn sharp right onto Jinx Road. And it is a sharp right. But here again, it helps to be able to see everybody's signal. Now turn sharp right onto Jinx Road. So it's, we're going to go after this truck. There we go. It's a sharp right, and he accelerated into it more than I would have. <laughs> People on the side of the road, you can see the workers there. <laughs> All right. And this right-hand turn is very common for people to go up. There's a whole shopping center up there that people go to. walk around the block here and wave to the farmer. His house used to be on this side before they moved the road. They had to destroy his house, so they moved it over there. When I moved here, none of these houses were here. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Roberts Road. Now I think they'd be considered old residents. They've probably been here, you know, 15, 20 years. So he's got to make this left at a red light. So he's got to get in the left lane. Now turn left onto Roberts Road. Not bad. It's taking it pretty easy. I don't think we're going to get a green arrow. Nope. There we go. I gave him a little acceleration because he wasn't taking that very fast. Quite a turn. In 500 feet, turn left onto Shaded Knoll Road. Well, Shaded Knoll, wow, I told it to navigate now home. Now turn left onto Shaded Knoll Road. Well, where are we going? Shaded Knoll? This road didn't even exist a year ago. Now Why are we turn going? right onto Clark Creek Lane. Clark Creek Lane? Where's that? There it is. <laughs> He's a little jittery. And here we are, almost home. Now bear left. Bear left. Now you have arrived at your destination. Sure I have. <laughs> I've arrived at Future Road Extension. So this is where it sends UPS. This is where it sends Amazon. This is where it sends FedEx. And I've had UPS guys actually go into the forest there, climb across the barbed wire fence to deliver stuff to me. He's actually creeping a little bit here. He doesn't know where we are. He still thinks we're 25 feet from where we need to go. 25 feet, navigate on autopilot ending. He's, he's still confused. <laughs> Let's see what he does here. I, I would think he'd give up, but he's just jiggling a bit. All right. I'm gonna disconnect just to give him a, a break. Kaleidoscope Park. that red house that makes it a kaleidoscope. Let's take a look how the new development's doing. They put a huge speed bump down here because people were going 90 miles an hour. They still haven't built the next house down there. taking their time and I went over that speed bump and I thought it 
took out the bottom of my car might have damaged my batteries because it was huge They've gotten up to 500,000. I think they're down to 400,000 again. If you bought it for 500, you made a mistake. Somebody doing something here. What's he doing? He's looking at the water. Show you how I get into my garage. Come down the thing, you make the turnabout up here, and right at the top, it's going to automatically open the garage door. There it goes. Put it in reverse, and I put some tape on the ground that I just match these lines up to. And if I've got them lined up, that means I can go full speed back into this parking place here. And there we go, like magic. Are you impressed? You should be.